$112 million hack and a $20 billion burn? Well, we can only be talking about XRP. Let's get it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the 2 Crypto channel. My name here is 2 Crypto, and we're talking about XRP today. In particular, a $112 million attempt on the co-founder's wallet. Ultimately, Chris Larson did actually lose this money. $112 million, about $215 million XRP were extracted from multiple personal wallets and sent to a number of exchanges. Now, this news broke a few hours ago, just straight off the bat. Good news, all of the exchanges did freeze the funds so great news in the sense that it didn't go however this isn't the first attempt with an xrp hack that we've seen and i want to really get into this and ultimately is there a concern around xrp xrp ledger or is this just another bump in the road so like i said 112 million attempt at a xrp heist caught by none other than zach xbt he tweeted out earlier said it appears at ripple was hacked for 213 million xrp you can see the source address there so far the stolen funds have been laundered through mexi gate.io binance kraken okx htx hit btc etc and that gives you a split of where that goes now don't forget these are sophisticated organized crime groups that are trying to steal not only your cryptocurrency but anyone's on there when you are the custodian of your own finances in a world where there isn't a ton of regulation there's always going to be that risk now if you're the co-founder of xrp you clearly are going to have connections into some of these exchanges therefore all of it was stopped which is good news and i guess the debate here is well that is where decentralized regulation does come in in the ability to stop bad actors from achieving anything more than what they deserve which is absolutely nothing risk uh, excuse me chris larson did confirm in a tweet that this was absolutely exactly what we expected here he says yesterday there was an unauthorized access to a few of my personal xrp accounts not at ripple and that's got to be clear it wasn't actually the ripple token or company that was attacked it was ultimately chris larson himself we quickly were able to catch the problem and notify exchanges to freeze the affected addresses law enforcement is already involved and something of this nature and this size is going to require it now the debate will always be how do you in a personal wallet have 150 million dollars when you're part of ripple surely that will be better suited in the actual token just have it as part of the company there is a bigger question now they may have been an investor it does throw up a couple of questions though to wonder why that amount was in personal wallets but like i said right at the very start good news they did freeze all of the funds and like i said this is not the first time Something like this has happened in particular when it comes to Ripple. We saw that attempt at Bitfinex and that one obviously was stopped as well. So like I said, good news that it has been stopped. And we obviously are hoping that law enforcement does get involved and ultimately those people are brought to justice. Now, what about a $20 billion burn? You guys must be thinking too, but you're out of your mind when you talk about it. Well, interestingly here, it says Ripple and SEC settlement speculation sparks a $20 billion burn rumor. What is it all about? Well, the fear ultimately right now in that court case we obviously are aware coinbase going through it which could have ramifications to the xrp case and actually when we come on the back of it it could be a very very interesting time particularly if it was to win now it says a particularly chilling rumor gaining traction involves the potential incineration of xrp tokens held in the escrow by ripple this strategy measure estimated to raise over 20 billion dollars from the market parallels the sec's action against lbry where the court barred further crypto offerings until all lbc tokens were disposed of now this is a pretty far-fetched story but i guess the point here is what is better pay a ridiculous 700 million million dollar fine or get rid of these tokens and that could be a drastic step that xrp take ultimately bill morgan here given his view that ultimately it lacks the authority to compel validate as the backbone of xrp ledger to execute such a move adding fuel to the fire prominent figures like cardano founder charles hoskins warn the broader implications of a ripple sec settlement and again that could be in the news of which ultimately that's what the sec want remove the potential for further sales therefore breaching further securities laws could be interesting let me know in the comments what do you think i mean a 20 20 billion dollar burn well it'd be something wouldn't it it would absolutely be something ultimately why does it matter well unlikely in practice the potential incineration of xrp could give a huge price pump ultimately leaving the future of countless crypto projects hanging in the balance that would mean a lot of them would have to follow same suit and ultimately would give the advantage back to the sec whereas right now it feels like bitcoin 
ETFs, Ethereum ETFs, the movement is with us. Ultimately, though, Jerome Powell did absolutely send the market into a cataclysmic decline today. But with that being said, where's the price of XRP? Like I said, all with the news going on, we still held above 50 cents. Good news. We are obviously in a decline and have been now for quite some time on the daily chart here. So you can see that volatility down from those tops around 73 cents and the continuation to the downside. However, why am I still bullish on XRP? Well, I talked about this in a couple of previous videos. It's not necessarily what you see on the surface. It's what's been built around the sides and in the background. And we talked a lot about partnerships with Metacore, Chartered Start Bank, looking like they're partnering. And a lot of debate has been, is this truly been a hack? Or more importantly, we know Ripple do hackathons. Is it anything to do with that? Who knows? Time will only tell. But I still am expecting a pretty big XRP run. I think this could be one of those coins in the bull market that everyone regrets not holding. However, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are you still holding XRP? And what do you truly think went on with all of those hacks today? I'm always interested to know what your thoughts are. And if you've made it all the way to the end and you want to see more content like this, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.